looking around, seeing where I was going. Hi, Micah. Um, and I found this little cave up here. So the little bit of lore that you're missing is I walked up there and uh, my bird, I'm assuming it's my bird, was uh, in a cage. So that this is my goal. I need to find my bird in case you weren't here last time. Uh, these jerks stole my bird and I don't like them. Waterfall cave. Beware of blood-sucking monsters. No kids allowed. I mean, how old is Link supposed to be in this? I'm assuming... Would he still be considered a kid? Probably, right? Link is usually considered a kid, no matter what age he ends up being. Can I just, like, whack these? I can whack them! Whack them good! Alright, so inside Waterfall Cave, this is where um, we heard somebody say that uh, somebody said the uh, bird would be stuck in here. It feels like it's really loud. Let me know if I need to turn anything down. But, make it get you. It feels like it's really loud on everything, like, on all the sound effects, but, like, everything else needs to be up, like, the music and stuff. Let me see, does the, does the audio have any, like, specialty sort of volume options? If it does, it's not mid-game. It's been a while since we played, so, uh, actually, I take that back. It has not been a while. It's been two days, but I do need to remember the controls, so I'll give it a few minutes. You got a green rupee. It's worth just one. Like, thank you. Make sure you collect a lot of them. It's like, I would rather collect the bigger uh, currencies, if that's cool with you, video game. Would you be alright with that? I don't think these little slime things actually end up doing any damage. They just sort of, like, latch onto you. I'll lower this volume down just a little bit. I see it peaking over there. So, if I need to crank that up, let me know, but, uh... It feels like that one's up really loud. I am really sort of digging the uh, the uh, camera angles that you can get on this. It's like really not bad for a Zelda game. Especially a 3D Zelda game, you know? Getting so many rupees. Add 20 more to the total. We have 71 rupees. We are rich. Can we grab that firefly or something? Is there anything we can do with you? Can I murder it? Can I Z-target it? No. I feel like the dragonfly is a red herring. Or, excuse me, the, um, the uh, firefly is a red herring. So, now what? I feel like that's where we need to go. We need to go down to there. And then from here, we can probably jump to there, right? Yeah, there we go. This is a very satisfying way to kill bats. I'm not gonna... Are you friendly? I saw that bug just wander... I saw that bug wander through and instantly kill itself. I wonder if that was like a bug that I could have caught in the, uh, in a jar, you know? Definitely going to be favoring the upswing. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. 
Also, I like how we are rocking this practice sword as if it were a death saber. Link does not care that this thing is made of basically plastic. It's like, look, you might as well give me a real sword, because it's just going to take me longer to kill them. They are going to die. That's, that, that's a given. If you want it to be quick and cruelty-free, I suggest you give me a real sword. Can I crawl in there? I can. What channel is that on, and why is it black? I like looking up there, and I see nothing in the corner there. There we go. There's a channel. I thought that I saw that it was like channel 80, too. Like, what's wrong with channel 80? Channel 80 should be fine. Oh, good. A bird statue. I have a feeling we're coming up on a boss battle. I say boss with, with giant air quotes. Like, I don't, I don't know. We were still in the, basically the uh, tutorial. I don't know what the autosave capabilities are in this Zelda game. Zelda! I'm stupid. <laughs> Zelda said, Gouda. Hey, Gouda. I was hoping I'd find you here. I was ho <laughs> I forgot that she had a southern accent. I heard you'd gone searching for the bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. Thanks for the help. Yeah, I've... <laughs> Although I guess I only went through one room, so I guess you didn't wait too long. How's your search going? Any sign of your old loft wing? Hmm. Oh, heck. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Groos and his ha gang are always hanging around. <laughs> Groos is his name, not Bruce. I, I have a summary of the last episode, and I thought his name was Bruce. No, it's Groos. Maybe we'll find something there. You want to fly me there? It'd be cool if you could fly me there. Huh? Is that your cell phone or mine? <laughs> Who that? Who's caught? Oh, I was kidding. Is, is it actually a cell phone? Oh, sorry, Gouda. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Are you going to follow me? Ooh. What do you have to say? What y'all waiting around for? Let's go get your loft wing. Why are we not flying your bird? Why are we walking around? Isn't like the whole point of this society that we're supposed to be learning to fly these birds? Look! There he is! Yeah, there he is. That's the bird I saw in the cutscene. There's your loft wing. He definitely couldn't climb up out the top. I'm gonna get over there and uh, as soon as I get onto this thing right here, they're gonna trigger, aren't they? Can I like sneak around it? Hey, Loft Wingy. Hey, buddy. What? Okay, that didn't work. Let's try over here, not there. <laughs> I gotta break through the ropes. Loftwing, you can very clearly make it out by now. That's a little ridiculous. I hope I get to name the bird, too. Hey, um, I need you for a race, my guy. Okay, he just wants to stretch. <laughs> yes, we, uh, we unlocked him from the cage. I'm, I'm surprised that nobody was staying on guard to watch him. They couldn't afford one person in their gang to make sure that Link didn't free his bird. Oh, we should hurry, Gouda. Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. Before you go, 
I have to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? No. I heard a little jingle. It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like something's calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Uh... Do they not know? They have birds. Some say it's an empty, barren place. Or even that there's nothing all down there below. But I have this feeling that they're wrong. Just fly down there. You want me to do it? Give me my bird. Give me the control of my bird. I'll fly down there right now. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales call it an old world under there. Far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it. And our loft wings can't break through the cloud. Oh, they can't? Well, why didn't you lead with that? But I can't help imagining the wild things that'll be waiting below. Someday I want to see for myself. It sounds to me like you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> oh, sorry, Gouda. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press down. Don't worry about following. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. Well, then why did she start? Then why did she say it now? It's like if it's common knowledge, then why did she go into it now? How long we got? I want to see what's through the cloud layer. Let me put it to you this way, Link. Here's what's going on. That's not the right button. You shut up. Here's what's going on. Eventually, we will reach the bottom. There, There is a bottom to this area, I'm assuming. Or are we just stuck here? Like, if we don't call the Loftwing, we're stuck here forever? Lame. <laughs> Feels like a wasted opportunity. It's like, here, it's like this. Here, Loftwing, go down. Just go this way. Just go this way. Just go downwards. Just see. Let's go look. Now what? Oh. So we just sort of skim along the bottom? Alright. Go to- let's run your bird through the basics just to make sure he's not hurt. You can fly your bird in any direction. When it's headed upward, it'll slowly lose speed. When you want to speed up, direct your bird upward to gain altitude and then drop into a fast dive. So again, gain some altitude, then dive to speed up. So how's he handling? I mean, I wish we hadn't come down to the flat cloud layer now, but, you know, we'll get up there eventually. You think he's flying all right? Oh, we can just... there we go. Oh, the bird can flap. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's better. When riding your loft wing, you can press the right button at any time to go over the basic controls. You can also do other things that this dumbass just clicked right through. He just clicked the button. He didn't even read it. What if we push the right button? Will that help? Until left or right to turn. Okay, push up to gain altitude. To speed up, glide down at a sharp angle. Uh, press X to do a charge of speed. Oh, 
How do I get more wing? Oh, I gotta wait. So it's horse rules. If you have no speed, you'll stop in midair. Okay. Neat. So what does Zelda want me to do? Does she want me to go like through some rings or something? Oh, there we go. Oh, well that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Gouda, but your loft wing looks like he's flying great. It's a good thing they didn't do the bird equivalent of a kneecap. My father and the others are probably worried about your bird. <laughs> so let's go give him the good news. Here we go. It's a me, birdie -o. <laughs> Your loft wing really is amazing. Especially considering everything the poor guy's been through this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. Why do they not fly every... No! Oh, look at this. Look at this chode. Why do they not fly everywhere? Why does that... They, they should all be like the uh, the fat people from, uh, from uh, up. Well, if it isn't Gouda... Word around the plaza is that you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did was for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. <laughs> He's... He is stiff. We've all been waiting forever to the race to start, and they delayed for you. She does, Pyre, but she needs to go tell her dad that the we, we're waiting for the bird. I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment. <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. You kidnapped my bird. You are not in a moral, in a place of moral superiority, Groose. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? Sounds like someone's jealous. And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Oops, I don't know, best friends we have ever had Oh my god, boo this man! Boo this man! Oh my god. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? These two don't. The, the henchlings don't get voices. Bruce has been going up for everybody. He's going to be one of those. Yeah, exactly. There's some serious jealousy going on. Durr. I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I break up that adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at the day's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she was made it herself, no way I was gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. I read that wrong. <laughs> oh yes, that sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth, will be mine. <laughs> I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. I see it. First I win the big race, and then Zelda and I... Can someone turn down the fucking tuba, please? <laughs> and I finished the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. No one is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. God, he's just... <laughs> Just hard as a rock over here thinking about Zelda. Yeah, yeah guys, get, boss, boss, these, these tunics don't hide anything. And you see him in the middle of a just rock hard, just thinking about Zelda's big ol- Oh my goodness, just thinking about her- Sorry, your breast. I'm gonna be polite, ma'am. You can't explain when you mean about our spatial moment alone. Just hear some southern muttering out of her. Gouda, I was just telling my buddy how glad I was that we found that red bird of his. I'm looking forward to a fair race. Bye, Zelda. Look at me during the race. I'll be the one with the red hair. Bye. 
guy is both my least and favorite character. You hear that guy? Fair race? He's gonna cheat. He's gonna cheat, Link. Don't let them fools get you down. Just get out there and fly the best you can. They might throw bombs at you or something. I don't know. I know deep down you got those guys beat. And deep down, I think you do too. Us alone? What do you mean? Sure. I want the horniest options possible. Come on, Gouda. Try to focus for once. Come on. You can have these later. <laughs> Just lift something. Boing. Boing. <laughs> The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. We heard that Link found his bird. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Gouda. This is ridiculous. I'm just gonna pretend that all of this is just to join that crew. <coughs> hey! Hey! Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. Look at me, I've got a yellow bird. I represent Thunder. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to begin without Gouda up, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I'm glad we could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. Okay, red represents fire, so you'll be at a disadvantage against water. I've attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then... Is this bird like the golden snitch? I'm sure this is lowest fruit when it comes to uh, Skyward Sword commentary, but this bird's the golden snitch, isn't it? Excuse me. And then I will release it to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the edge. Once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with the down button once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's... Sh that bird's just happy to be here. <laughs> you see that bird's face? <laughs> also, Zelda's dad t took way too many Sudafed today. These are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. But do you need to hear them again? Nah, I'm good. Excellent. As you know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it's also the 25th anniversary of this fine institution. Let's give it up for this institution. 25 years of bird-related activities. Good for them. To celebrate this occasion, today's champion will also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift or Oh, it's... It's the sale, isn't it? It's the sale. That's the gift. Huh. And as we all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... That's right, Link! I think it's of, the, of this school. Like this, the Loftwings school. The lovely Zelda. <laughs> Listen to this guy. I didn't even give him that stupid of a voice. That's just actually his voice. Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me how hard you've been practicing. Also, show me how hard you are. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. No bird fights. If I see a single bird fight, you're all expelled. Cool. Now that goes double for you, Groose. Hey. All right, gentlemen, line up at my command. The competition will begin. It's only four people in the ceremony. Yeah, I mean... Oh, God. I don't know what the dash button is. Push down. Make the bird come. I don't, I don't know how to make bird go faster. Did they change my settings back? Why are you going down? Bird, what are you doing? This is nothing like the practice. 
Why are you looking down? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is Make going on? Come. You are 2023. This is nothing like what. A to gain altitude. Am I pushing the wrong button? That would be why. I'm pushing the wrong button. I thought that I was pushing the right button. Have they been patiently waiting for me this whole time? It also changed my, uh, my flying back to the other way. Getting that bird. Oh, I, did, I didn't catch it! I didn't hit the button! You might be able to. He's getting really close. Oh, why don't you know this is my day for the glory? Oh, he's gonna cheat. They're cheating. Don't throw eggs at me, you jerks. Also, where are some of those other eggs coming from? They're, those eggs are coming from nowhere. statue. It proves your victory today. <laughs> Look how happy Link is. <laughs> Wait till Zelda sees this. Oh, I'm gonna get so smooched. Gouda! I've come to meet you on my bird. These guys are way too lackadaisical with their birds. Don't worry, I'm fine. That was horrendously stupid. We could have killed both of us and your bird. Great flying. You did good with your bird after taking three minutes to learn how to fly him again. Can you attach your bird to my bird with a rope? I need to tow my bird since I happen to be flying on top of you. Hand me that bird statue you grabbed. I must offer it to the goddess. If this ceremony, if this school is only 25 years old, they have this, like, really dumb ritualistic ceremony for a school that's only been around a quarter of a century? Was the goddess here 25 years ago? Has it only been one generation? Zelda doesn't seem to know what's beneath the clouds. Link doesn't know anything. Great goddess Lila, protector of the people, grant us our blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during this ceremony. I tried to rush because I thought she would uh, go ahead. Valiant youth who've grasped victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways. I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. Ooh. Oh. 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 You should have kept that on. You look... Okay, how, how old are you? Are we making this weird? 
The blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I pass on to you. This is a weird angle, so I need some... God, that was loud. I need some different uh, angles. In accordance with our ancient ways, set down in time immemorial 25 years ago. <laughs> set down in time immemorial by, by our great uncle. <laughs> now you can jump from any height without fear of a painful landing. It smells nice. Whoa. Link's just like... Go to quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual. God, these two are so thirsty. You know, there is a goddess. They say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. These two are just waiting till the day they hit 18. They're gonna elope and immediately go down to the cloud layer for their uh, for their honeymoon. Of course, the one you're holding ain't the same. I've been working hard to finish making this sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got Long to ago, get it. Long ago, 25 years passed. <laughs> Again, I feel like I feel like we might have a wrong... Do I need to go look on Google to see how long? I'm sure they explained it in the opening cutscene, which we watched like thrice. Thanks for making it up here to do this today like you promised, Gouda. Yep. Now we should really finish up this ritual. You, uh, do know what happens at the end, right? Nope. Really? Huh. I thought you would have figured it out by now. You have to jump off the statue. Look down. See that big round design on the thing below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. Leap off the edge right before you hit the edge. Before you hit the ground, hit ZR to open up your sailcloth. So we are just going to dive right into the ground, right? There isn't a question in our mind that we're going to dive directly into the earth. How brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait till the last second. You ready to jump? How fast can we go? I want a crater. Or how could you think that that obvious secret door is a door? It was so fast. Oh boy, I see you, I see you directly meteored yourself into the ground. <laughs> Once you dive off the edge, you can control the edge by pushing the button. I won't push you, so just leap off when you're ready. Just dive off and just push ZR. And don't forget that when you do the thing, do the thing. Yep, uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, she doesn't have anything different. Okay, I wanted to see if she had a different one for the next time. Like, I knew that, uh... I knew that that was her thing. That we could just, like, go right into the ground, but, uh... I wonder, I wonder what happened if you did it twice. Okay. Leap! Yeah. <laughs> okay, that time was legitimate. <laughs> Try it, try again, Link. How can I do it in the least, in the least, um, heroic way possible? Nope. <laughs> Which button is ZR? Is it the big one or the little one? Yeah, we did it. <laughs> I, I guess we got to hit the actual angle though, don't we? Also, do I have to hold it? There we go. We did it, Mom. 
Why didn't I just fly my bird down? I spent like an hour and a half getting my bird last time. That was perfect! You're amazing, Gouda Up! Haha, <laughs> I like girls. Why didn't I just fly my bird down? You know, seeing as how you wound today, and with the weather being so nice, you think maybe you'd like to, you know, go try to break through the cloud layer and free us from this hell of a prison? Sure hope you remember how to fly and you haven't immediately forgotten. That sounds like something you wouldn't do, right, Link? I mean, Gouda? Hey, Gouda! Today was a mate. <laughs> Could you imagine? It's like. <laughs> it's like. Today was amazing! Watching you win the race. <laughs> it's like, gotta be so loud. <laughs> Performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. What? It was really wonderful. Maybe they've got like a Bluetooth in. <laughs> you know, Gouda. You want to come over here for a smoocheroonie? Something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh. Well, that's never a good sign. What is that? What in tarnate? Oh no, it's some sort of twister! Papa warned me about them! What's going on? What do you think's going on? Do you not know about... Is this not a thing that happens? I guess not. Well... <laughs> but he waved bye to Zelda. <laughs> That was very quick, even for a Zelda game. Kuda? I'm waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Also, you're hurtling towards the cloud layer at a tremendous velocity. This might be a problem. Is this your girlfriend? I found her, too. Every time I see that dumb monster with all the big teeth... It cracks me up. Oh, you're awake. Ooh. Oh. So, uh... Flew into a twister with my daughter, huh? When your waft wing carried you back, you were a limp. <laughs> limp, as a, limp as a wet rag, son. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't seem to have any serious injuries. And for that much, we can be eternally grateful. Sorry I got your daughter killed. She was with you, wouldn't she? You didn't go f you didn't go flying towards the tornado, did you? The big tornado with the sign out front that says don't go flying towards the tornado. It's it's like one of our biggest rules. You do float Black tornado, huh? Yeah, 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 uh, Gouda. That's uh, that's why the signs are there, buddy. That's why the signs are there. It's no ordinary storm. I uh, I need a few minutes alone to think about how dead my daughter is. You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Whatever you need to do, tell your bird to do it. He's trained. He will bring you jello, 
He will bring you Gatorade, whatever you need. When you saw Zelda today, did something seem off? She talk about hearing crazy voices and such. He's like, yeah, man, she's just it's all about it. She's just like, I hear all these voices and I heard this jingle. She was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission? I have. I, oh, about the, uh, the, the water lady. Ooh. I thought you meant before just now. I'm sorry, I was, uh, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. But what do I know? I've been running a school for 25 years. I'm basically, I'm basically Dumbledore, but for big birds. I'm concerned for Zelda, but as long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. I definitely didn't see her sans Loftwing hurtling through uh, time and space. Daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be dangerous. So, uh, let's, uh, let's not look for her, if that's cool with you. I just don't, I don't want to get involved at the moment. Rest now, Gouda. Zelda's gonna be fine. I mean, I really wish you all hadn't gone towards the big black tornado that we, that we tell everybody. I tell everybody not to drive towards, but you know what? We'll find her. It's gonna be fine. She's gonna be the one that gets out. Nobody else has escaped the big black death tornado, but she's, she's gonna be the one. I have got faith in her. Sounds like it's saying Link. Which really makes it awkward that our name is Gouda Up. Oh, he took my sword. Or I can't use it right now, I guess. Uh, Spirit, can you turn off the uh, Native American uh, Pure Mood soundtrack, please? I literally, I, I had a, uh, I had a cassette tape that I bought from a um, national park that it was basically just a very, very stereotypical Native American looking man with a headdress and everything. And he was just sitting on some rocks. And it was just the sound of, it was this, it was this soundtrack, basically. Uh-huh. Can I just, like, ignore her? <laughs> just, like, go somewhere else? Nah. Where are you going? What are you? You're adorable. Are you friendly? I, I'm gonna guess you're not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jackass. Oh, you're friendly! Friendly, 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 friendly. You're coming with me. What a friend. Oops! <laughs> We're both going. To We're both gonna check out the surface. Watch your footing out there. Never know. I'll take a wrong step off the ledge. Don't go flying at night. Also, don't try and uh, don't try and Mario Penguin the little rats off the edge. That's strictly illegal. You never know what's down there. Somebody might be really hurt by some flying rodent. You never know. Getting a whole bunch of rubies, and I appreciate that. So I have lost track of where our uh, where our friend is. She probably wants to. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you? Do you die? Do you ever die? Put down off the side. There you go. Stay down. It's interesting that it's got a little contingency plan for when people inevitably do that. When people inevitably drop that rat off the side of the uh, off the side of the mountain. It just flaps back up. weird that Groose came to no form of, like, retribution, even though he very, like, vocally admitted to, like, taking his bird. It's like, what? Why does he have so many connections? Why is it all so political in this? Why, why do all the jerks have a bunch of political connections? It wasn't me. I would never do something like that. You know me, old Groose. I would never take old Gouda's bird. That would be not nice, and I'm a good guy. Why are you taking me up here? I want to talk at some point? We found the place. You're not... You're not gonna help me in, are you? Oh! No! You changed the... Nice. I stand corrected. <laughs> me being all cynical. I feel like I could make a very obvious, you know, <laughs> entering the bunghole reference, but, uh, pretty sure that's the low brow of humor we got going on. Are you the essence of the sword? The one chosen by my creator. I've been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given, but Fifi is the name I'm going to call you. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that's your burden to carry. You are all really unloading a lot on old Link here. Come, Gouda. You must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your density. I mean your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertain sur uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. I was created long before the memory of your people, 26 <laughs> years ago. Maybe they imported the stone in. Like maybe that's like we couldn't, we couldn't take the master sword out of the stone, but you know, we were able to load the anvil up onto a flat bread and onto a flat bread bed and bring it up here. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Link's like, not really. I'm cool with whatever. I'd drive a big bird. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections include that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. It's called marijuana. You want to light up with me, my little friend? The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. I'm basing this off of a guess. That's okay, right? And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen fated to be part of some great mission. 
Therefore, should you wish to meet up with your friend, I highly suggest you take this sword. I feel like you're suspect. I feel like you're, you're trying to influence me. I'm going to take the sword because it's not nailed down, so I'm definitely taking it. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? He's like, oh my god. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. No. What's going on back there? What is this? What are you? I need the master sword for that. So is this some sort of sword in the stone thing, or could have anyone done that? Like, could anyone have pulled what? Nope. <laughs> what? Nope. got the goddess sword. The mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. It, this definitely wasn't a trick. Recognition complete, master. Gouda up. I'm okay. Let's not make this weird. Gouda! You, you taking my sword? I had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, which has been closed up for a full two decades. The very place where it was foretold the youth of legend will one day appear. It is said that the place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation along with a handful of words. Those words are as follows. Hurricane. Tornado. Sleet. When the light of the... He just took the front entrance. The one with the gift shop. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we just went through the back side of the statue. There's probably a whole front side that leads into, like... That's where the cathedral is. Great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear. For it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, will reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I've kept sacred all these years. Have you just, you just come down to the sword room every night, my guy? It began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things, being hair alone with a sword, all sexy like. There was just simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of the legend would come to pass in my lifetime. I feel like it's probably more than 25 years, but they still haven't explained a whole lot. I wonder if he can see the, the, the silly Fifi up there at the top. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my eyes. The youth will be guided by the one born of the blade. One who is youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information, retention, and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over generations. Oh, you can hear her. Or did you just now notice her? The youth who draws forth the guiding sword will be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbroken spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. 
With the spirit of the blade at his side, he will soar over the clouds and plummet below. <gasps> I'm gonna go below the cloud lair! And united with the spirit maiden. No, you're, you're not southern. And united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. <laughs> Do I really need a montage to her talking about the surface? Some of father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. I'm dead. <laughs> also, I like the skip button. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than sky loft, loft, loft. You must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. Otherwise, she'll be dead F. Just completely dead F. Oh, this is no easy task, Gouda Up. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud layer. In living memory, no one's ever done this. No one's even tried until you earlier today. What is this? This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Make sure you jiggle it a little. Sometimes it gets stuck. You've got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of the heavy stone tablet feels very old. I'm not saying master. You're making this weird sword. Just call me... You know what? I'm gonna say merger. That's gonna be the new one. Merger. The first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in the room with the skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you've charged your blade, Face the crest to swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Let me see the sword. How, how different is this than my practice sword? Not very. <laughs> Up to 50% of the water used in a home originates from the bathroom. That's not surprising at all. What's a skyward strike? Oh, right. I think they might have explained that last time. I've forgotten. Thank you. Like all the busy work. <laughs> Make sure you hit the thing to put the tablet on the thing. Can't you just do that? Can't you just tell me what I need to do? Also, that looks like a fourth of something else I need to do. So can anybody go down there now? Or is it just Link? Merger Gouda, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has placed a small rift in the barrier. You can get on your bird and fly through that hole and it will be wicked sick. I have recognized you as my merger, and so it will be my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your throbbing sword, and will accompany you on your travel. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. I'll be in your shaft, your shaft, your shaft. Gouda, that's really neat that she lives inside the shaft of your shaft. 
Listen up. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in its old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems like both you and Zelda have great roles to play in the destiny of this land. I recognize you as my manager. <laughs> We have a contract to sign. Just think, if what Fifi says is true, I never introduced you to Fifi. Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Gouda Up, especially down there on the surface. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. It is partially your fault that you flew into a big black tornado. What we're seeing here tonight defies explanation, but it's only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legend's true. Alright. That sounds like the game, so sure, I will. You do your people proud, Gouda Up. You do your people proud. Go find my daughter that you indirectly murdered. Dawn is growing near been a long night for both of us, right? You saw that blue lady, right? She went into your sword? You have a great journey before you, Gouda. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform that you were going to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform will prove more suitable for a long journey. Let me guess what it looks like. Is it a green tunic? I bet you it's going to be a green tunic. Maybe with a hat? You don't say. <laughs> he's, just, he's just in the other room giggling like, he thinks that's the uniform. <laughs> That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's like you were born to wear it. It's alright. I like the other color tunics better, just typically. And by that I mean I like the blue one. I'm not crazy about the red tunic. Take care on your journey. And be sure to stop by some of the shops here in the bazaar to equip yourself. Stop by the... Stop by the bazaar? You're not going to give me money to help you save your daughter? You're always welcome to stop by if you have any questions. You and Zelda are going to be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. You don't want to give me any kind of retainer. You, or even say, hey... Guys in town, don't charge Link so much. He's going to save my daughter. I hear you're sparring, Captain. The Knight Commander also knows that you will set out from Skyloft. He's concerned for you. Why don't you stop by the sparring hall and meet with him before you go? Maybe. We'll see. I wonder if we're out of where the walkthrough is yet. Hey. Yes. Yeah, we don't have any... There's no more walkthrough left. Gouda! That green uniform looks so adventurous. You look like a knight now. Thanks for helping me with those barrels the other day. The headmaster says you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I've really never imagined myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. I got the adventure pouch. Cool. Thanks, buddy. You can store all kinds of useful items in here. It's an adventure pouch. It's for your adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things that you'll need. You can buy all kinds of stuff that you can put in that air pouch. You should go look. Why is he southern too? You can buy some potions and the shield. They'd fit in the pouch, and they become, uh, and they should become in handy on an adventure. Gouda, I know that you'll find Zelda. Whack, 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 whack. Oh, I can't pull out my sword here. It's about to whack him a few times. Everybody needs a few, uh, a few whacks with the uh, goddess sword. 
Hello, ma'am? Congratulations on advancing. Okay. I'm not giving randoms uh, voice acting. I'm just gonna read them like ASAP. Can I sneak into Zelda's room? Okay, Groose. I can just walk into Groose's room. That's cool. Groose. Buddy. Enemy of an, a friend of a friend. Oh, poor Zelda. This is your fault. Oh, you drove into a tornado. You know, I'm going to be real. Groose has a point. If we hadn't... Uh, that's funny that he's got a link on his uh, punching bag. If we hadn't been flying with Zelda, Zelda might still be with us. As much as I hate Groose, he's got a he's got a real point. Hey nerd. Hey. Some senior class guy you are. Who else has a room that I can sneak into? Ah. Oh, you're thinking of taking off the journey and you probably won't be eating for a while. Well, take care of yourself. Can you help me with those barrels on your way out? No? Okay, bye. Music's a little dramatic out here in the hall. Yeah, I don't know where the auto saves are, but I feel like the actual saves. Like, it was 837 was the last save. Was that like an hour ago? Like, I sure hope there's some real auto saves. I heard the news, Guda Up. Zelda's fallen through the clouds, and you're going to look for her. Is that right? You seem dramatically underwhelmed by this news. The headmaster told me there's land beneath the cloud. Hopefully, she didn't slam into it like a crater. So that's the famous sword. But it won't do you any good if you don't have a shield. Take this. Neat. Breaks easily and burns, so I shouldn't... Shouldn't engrave this one, I guess, is what you're saying. It's light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. Press R, select the shield you want to hold, and press R again. If you don't know how to use a shield, go to class or something. I don't know. Okay. So how do I use the shield? I don't know if you can use the shield. I going? I guess they wanted to, uh, this guy did want to talk to me, so I guess I will go into the sparring hall. Mm. Gouda. The headmaster told me about Zelda. I'm worried about her. I don't know all the details. Well, that sword you're carrying isn't from Skyloft. It's an ancient artifact that can only be chosen one can have. Since you're carrying it, well, I guess that settles that. Wish there was more I could do. But I can offer this. Be ready to learn some new moves. It's time to learn the secrets of defense. Oh, now do I learn how to use the, uh, shield? Review the basics. Swing your sword or press B. Every time you swing your sword, you move your shield out of the way. Oh, is that what I, I need to... Uh... Never gonna remember to do that. Uh, no thanks, we'll be fine. I've fulfilled my due diligence in talking to you. Because the game asked me to very nicely. 
So I'm guessing I just need to jump off of my bird when I'm ready to go. I'll just start flying towards the hole. Let's go visit the bazaar first. Again? Oh, really? Merger, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicating it's created an opening in the cloud layer below. I must caution you that descending to the surface armed with only a sword would result in a decreased probability. Buy a potion and shields. I was on my way to the bazaar. Before you so rudely interrupt me. Interrupted me. I don't think who... Like, where is the bazaar? It's not the right button. Oh, it's like literally straight ahead. Is this it? Am I looking at it? Or is that it right there? This looks like it might be a bazaar. Are you the bazaar? Or are you just somebody's house? As it turns out, it might just be someone's house. Can I steal from them? That is a no. This is not the bazaar I was hoping it would be. I see that up there. I immediately want to go check out uh, Beetle's Bazaar over here. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. How do I get on to you? There is a way to get on to him right now. Can you signal him? Ooh. Don't seem all that happy. It's because your girlfriend is not alive? Is that why? Is that your big issue? I mean, you know how it is. You know how it is sometimes. Link, you are so lost, buddy. Is it this way? No, it's even further the wrong way. I think it must be up here? I'm not sure where this... Is this the bazaar? There we go. Guys, I'm here to buy supplies, not get weird. I don't want a fortune teller. I don't want a fortune teller. No thank you. Oh, I love these potion shops. Can't buy unless you have a bong bag. Don't have a slingshot. I don't have bow and arrow, so I can't buy any of that crap. Hi. I don't have anything I want to put in storage. What about you? <laughs> Can I upgrade my shield somehow? How do I do that? I, I can. I've got to grind some materials first. So is there anything I can do? Like, can I... What if I... How do I buy a potion? You, the boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured. 
You're one of those knights. One look at you and I can tell you'll need my potions. I don't try to slink away without stocking up. Okay. I'll give you a spare empty bottle. Nice. I was wondering if she might help give that out for me. They fit in your adventurer's pouch. You can always drop things in your item check if you run out. <laughs> What's the difference between these potions? I don't... No, I don't want a restorative shield potion. Thanks. Makes you feel invulnerable? No, that's super expensive. What about these? Are these the same things as I remember before? Stamina, that's not ready. Is this just health? Yeah, give me the health potion. <laughs> if you want a potion powered up, what do you mean? How do you how do you power up a potion? Welcome to my humble side business. I infuse the potions with new ingredients to increase the power. Why don't you just sell me the... Just cut out the middleman and just sell me better potions. How do I upgrade this? So I just need to go, like, do a bunch of looting if I want to upgrade things, is what I guess you're trying to say. You don't have anything I can buy. So I don't want anything from you. So if I... can I grab these things? I guess not. So if I jump off here, I should get my left wing, right? Should I take those? How do I get onto my left wing? Do I have to, like... Do I have to, like, jump and do it? That would be why. I had to jump properly. Okay. So this is the home of our school. So what's inside of all this little crap inside of all these, uh, floating towers? What is this? Just enemies. Gotcha. Seems like there's a fair amount to explore. And I'm not sure in a good way, you know what I mean? Thing I wanted to get into. Never mind, I couldn't get into it anyways. I will disregard it. I want to go fly down here, see what's going on down the world below. I want to go check it out. Oh. Bird staying up there? Does bird? Bird bird? A lot of faith. Oh, I forgot about the silk cloth. <laughs> okay. I'm glad to introduce that because I forgot about the silk cloth. Merger, please make sure to use your silk cloth. Yeah, I, I got it. 
What are you talking about? I did it. I totally did it. Shut up. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft legend. In my calculations, you're currently positioned in a location located in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. I totally pushed the buttons. I, pu I pushed. Nope, she did I pushed. I like both buttons, and I saw the sail go up come out. BS, she did it. Roll the clip back. Roll the tape. Brown, brown. Please proceed with caution, merger. I will be in your shaft. Call me. If you need me. <laughs> I kind of wanted... I, this is one of those times where I think you should have called me. I just like whack him. Just keep whacking him over and over again until he opens his mouth the right way. I think that is a thing I can do, but it's just not overly efficient. Ow. Could you stop, please? Thanks. You got a jelly blob. It may look like a boring wad of junk. Boring? It's very aggressive. What? It makes it boring. Love, you know, as much as I'm enjoying the cutscenes, I'm sure I'll probably miss them pretty soon. I'd love to actually play the Zelda game. I think we're coming out of the tutorial ish area, though. this thing again. <laughs> I don't think I have a... I don't think I stand a chance against it. Even with the Master Sword. Or the, excuse me, the... The Goddess Sword. I need a Link Axe Dramatic counter, along with my uh, along with my Cloud Axe Dramatic counter. Is there a bird statue anywhere? Do you think? I feel like we haven't saved in a while. Also, I really dig. Do you think those respawn hearts, or do you think it's like only once every now and then? No. This one when we entered the area, but yeah, I mean, we've been a long way since that. I'm sure we'll come across one. to see if you get little uh those little crafting things but it's it, i seem to need to go out and uh murder some critters if i want to actually do some upgrading to anything you know i guess that's next on the agenda is uh murdering some innocent critters if we want link sword to be good we head down there probably Just sailcloth down there, but there might be some stuff over here I want to grab. 
Like, I mean, there might be like a bird statue, and I would pass by it if it, just if I jumped early. You never want to jump the gun too much. There's nothing even on this path. This path sucks. I'm gonna keep looking. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Ow. Still haven't figured out which button it seems to need, I guess. It's that button. Okay, so just the big button. Young one, child of destiny, descended from the sky. It's like, you'll pull anything out of anything, right? Raise the sword of the goddess skyward, take aim at the evil aura, and unleash its power. Okay. a change in the area was triggered by your strike. I've detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise it belongs to Zelda. It can lead you in the, in the direction through a process known as doxing. Would you like me to explain it to you? I guess not, because that's not the right button. Hold up and use her as your doxing target. Oh, I see, like this. What am I accomplishing here? So I just need to follow that direction is what it's saying. It seems to be like blistering hot. Link's just taking it like whatever, he doesn't care. See, it's hot air that rises, so this is definitely some uh, painful air, I would assume. Can I climb over that? I think anytime I come like off of the edge where I'm supposed to use the sailcloth, I'm just going to push all of the shoulder buttons. Okay, it's just the big shoulder button. Come on, get up here. Why doesn't that work? I'm very confused as to why that one doesn't work. That's the way to get up and out, I think. Oh. 
what changed? I'm not clear on what changed. This is the first sealed temple. It may surprise you to learn that I'm a tired goose. I've been up for a very long time. So I think it is a perfect stopping point in getting up here. How do I how do I make that stop? There we go. Alright, I think I'm going to bed. So that's the wrong button. <laughs> but a fair assessment. <laughs> I'm peacing out. Thanks for hanging. I'll see you later. We'll do some uh, Final Fantasy tomorrow. Until then. Bye! Thanks for your time.